Hello everybody and welcome to Ivy Junction. As you can see in front of me, this is the new Acura Scale Class 66 from the exclusive range. This is a limited edition model. This is the Prostate Cancer UK in the GBRF livery 66769. This is the Paul Taylor Our Inspiration loco. And wow, I love the box already. First impressions is absolutely fantastic. This is a special loco for me because when Acura Scale released this, I ordered this on pre-order, probably about two years ago now, and I didn't go for all the other liveries because I wasn't really sort of wanting to get a, another 66 as I got the Hatton 66, the Batman and the Hornby ones. but. You can never say no to a new 66, can you? And plus, it's from a Cura Scale, as I love a Cura Scale. So I got really excited when I see this, especially this particular livery one. So a Cura Scale decided to do this limited edition to 700 locos only, and it's all going to a good cause. And the Cura Scale said, when I pre-ordered it, that every profit from the 700 models they've made and they make in profit that will all go to the prostate cancer uk charity and to me that's really special because our cancer is a horrible disease as we know i've lost family members i've got family members who are currently suffering with this horrible disease and it really means a lot to me and the fact it's going to charity as well the profits they make from this um, I had to get in on it to be honest it's really amazing that there's manufacturers doing this um, kind of thing because yes it's just not a nice thing cancer as we know it's affected millions of people in the world and there is a lot of people that are sadly lost their lives to this horrible disease so yeah that is, that really means a special it's really special to me shall I say because of the fact that it's a it's a going to a good cause and the prostate cancer UK delivery just looks absolutely stunning so I'm gonna get this out of its box I'm gonna have a look at it and hopefully get it running on the layout uh, that'd be great wouldn't it <laughs> so yeah bear with me and we'll go into look at what you get inside and yeah we'll go from there see you all in a bit so let's have a look under this sponge oh my so there you go that's the limited edition this is 485 out of 700 and signed by all the staff at a cure scale lovely Let's see what else you get in this. You take the limited edition certificate out and then you get, I assume that's gonna be with the exploded diagram on this. And yeah, <laughs> very comprehensive. They go through everything. Shows you how to take the body off. And I believe DCC access here is you take the lid off so we'll go through that one and have a look should be the same as the class 37 with the magnetic roof in system and the same as the Cavalex 56 which I love that's it it's amazing going forward now with these new locos that should have more than all of them like that I, I reckon well in my opinion shall I say it will be makes it a lot easier but I will have to take the body off at some stage because I want to uh, eventually fit sound and drivers. So yeah, that's the usual paperwork you get from the Curoscope, but with a 66 on it, it has to be. <laughs> right, ooh, I was wondering if you get a book with the history on it, like you do with the 92s and the 37s. Look at that, lovely. I love, I love reading the operator's manual to go through everything. History of the 66s, the lot, fantastic. With different liveries. 
there's so many good liveries out there it's just oh it's, it's fantastic especially if you're into modern era stuff as well oh love colas love drs oh, get a bit excited there <laughs> it is a bit warm up here as well by the way oh really um in a lot of heat lately but yeah it's not stopping me from doing this is it <laughs> lovely look at that and they're all the other 66s you can get at a curious girl awesome do love that i'm gonna have a good read of that as i normally do and i assume this is the uh the the, the function list if you've got sound or dcc um sound or non-sound shall i say but yeah you get that with all the locos that Curious Girl make. Usual warning stuff. So turn over, must read the instructions on the reverse. Yep. You get two of them this time though. Oh, they are different. So yeah, so if you're operating on DC, it tells you in these columns, non-issue decoder as well. If you're using the decoder without uh, issue make, then you have to follow these flick the switches over for operation with an ESU decoder which that's my one and operation with just DCC blanking plate which is for DC only so that's pretty cool at least it goes quite in depth tells you so you can't go wrong with that all right let's get this out and have a look at this uh Stunning 66, which I know it's going to be stunning. By the way, you probably already know uh, this is the old Hatton's tooling, but a curious girl made their own version from the tooling of Hatton's, and uh, they put their mark on it. So I'm get I'm going to look forward to looking at the axle boxes rotating like you do with the Hattons, but obviously we know with the Hattons they have their issues with the wobble. But that can be sorted, by the way, if you go into people like P Peter Dixon's channel and look at his previous videos on the Hatton 66, shows you a great in-depth uh, way of rectifying that and stopping them axle boxes from falling out. So, Curescale done the same. They've rectified that, they said. And obviously the, the roof as well, taking it off, magnetic, which is pretty cool for making it easy installation for DCC. Uh, the usual ice cube packaging. Ooh. Thankfully I'm using both hands. <laughs> yeah, some of the safety sponge stuff. You got, oh, what's this? So, little goodies bag. X name plate there. It's pretty cool. I believe you get two. Uh, there's one in there as well. Take my word for it, there is two. These you got with Hattons as well. They 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 supplied these when they done their versions. So, spare buffers and air dams. All right. I wonder if it's going to feel the same heaviness as the Hatton 66 because that was heavy and oh, this is heavy. Just look at that. So the rotating axles are in these bits here. cab detail inside the same as the Hattons so yeah it's the same weight as the Hattons as well they've really oh these this is really heavy 66 7 6 9 stunning and this prostate cancer you can put the X name plate there Paul Taylor, our inspiration. Let's 
fabulous GV rail freight awesome right so next is I don't know what that is there is that a bit of oil I'm not sure it's a little bit of residue there but thankfully nothing's fallen off which is a good sign these are all delicate flimsy bits they're all intact yeah Awesome. Right, let's get to the decoder fitting. Right, back again for the next instalment. So I'm doing this in bits because uh, it's so hot up here. I've got the industrial fan on, but I can't have that on while I'm recording because you won't be able to hear my voice. <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing this in different stages, but for you it's just one video <laughs> right uh so yeah like i say you should be able to take this off it's gonna be brand new so it might be a little bit tr tricky to start off with but yeah magnetic same as the 37 the blank in plate in there and you have got your switches just here so i need to do the switches as well because i'm going to be installing an esu decoder so probably have to try and do this quickly but also without and carefully sorry <laughs> Right, so that's the decoder fitted. I've done the switches already following these instructions. And that's it, we're all ready to go. So let's get this on the layout. As this is GBRF livery 66, I have got, um, I've been building up over time um, a nice little rake of the the Curascale GBRF biomass wagon. So for the first time, I'm gonna have them sort of running around being pulled by this done in 66. So let's get this lid back on. I'll see you on the layout. Right, so here is the 66 on the uh, track. Decoder all programmed in. Um, I've been for a few functions on this, lighting functions, um, it has got cab lights so it's brilliant so the Hattons version if you remember you needed to have a sound decoder to get cab lights this is just an easy decoder basically so I'll show you the cab lights it's one on one of my higher functions so I've got to get used to this there you go it's not brilliant on the uh, camera for some reason but it does look good the cab light in real life but I will say the uh, the marker lights and the headlights unless you get really close to it it's uh, not very bright so we'll try this again um, I'll switch the lights off and see what happens see if you can see it better okay so you can roughly see the lights there Let's put the cab lights on. Damn, it's hot up here. Jeez. Right, cab lights. And it should change to night lights. There you go. That's better. So, yeah. 
again, in real life, I mean, I can see it clearly. But the lights are still not bright in real life on the uh, where the marker lights and night lights are. It's they're quite dim compared to the Hatton's ones anyway. So I don't know. Um, I'll have to tinker around with it, I suppose. So there you go, that's the um, lights there. Much better up front, up close. So again, show you the lighting function with the cab light. There you go. So that shows it quite good there. So maybe it's got to be a bit up close because, uh, yeah, well, that's it. That's what... Um, Lovely. Okay, let's get this bad boy moving. Yeah, the rotate, road, uh, rotating axles are going around there. That's fine. They all seem fine there. And that's the uh, GBRF biomass wagons, also from Acura Scale, which I've been building up a small rake of them. Which is pretty cool. So there you go everyone, that's the new Curascal Class 66 and the prostate cancer livery. I absolutely love it, it's really nice, nice limited edition, really pleased to have this now in my collection. Right, I'm absolutely melting up here, it is hot down here in the south and uh, yeah, don't knock it. <laughs> um, but unfortunately it does restrict me this time of the year now. Till about August, September time, can only come up here if and when really weather permitting because yeah, it's just uh, it is really hot. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed this. Not sure when the next video is coming out, but if you hit the notification bell, that will let you know there's a new video coming out like this one. Thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you to all my existing subscribers. You all mean the world to me and I absolutely love it. Absolutely amazing hobby. <laughs> so thank you and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.